This is Sean Walsh. He has a genetic disorder called Angelman Syndrome. Within the next few minutes, you will see how him and other people with a disorder live and how inspiring they can be. Sean starts every day by eating a yogurt and relaxing on his iPad. He then goes for a wash and gets dressed. Then he puts his shoes and coat on and waits for his bus to take him to school. Once his bus arrives, he makes his way to school with some friends. We spoke to his mum to see how Sean's condition has had an impact on his family life. What kind of effect has Sean had on your life since his diagnosis? A lot of sadness at first, but as we got used to it, because he's so happy, he's brought us a lot of happiness as well and just look on the positive sides of what he can do and not just at the negatives of what he can't do. Do you think Angelman Syndrome has had has a lot of positives as well as negatives? Yes, there's a lot of positives because they're very happy and eventually they can do things that you are very proud of and things that you don't expect them to do makes you happy. What advice would you give to parents with young children with Angelman Syndrome? Don't just look at all the bad stuff that they can't do. Look at all the good things. Eventually they can do everything that other children can do. The only thing they can't do is talk, but they can communicate in their own way. So don't be sad. Think of all the good things a child can bring you. Once he gets to school, he starts by hanging his bag and coat up with some help from his teacher. In school, he enjoys doing things such as learning life skills and playing in the light room. Sean's dad is a truck driver and often Sean enjoys going on small trips out in his dad's truck. Once Sean gets home from school, he relaxes with some TV and a few sweets and later eats his tea with his family. On Friday, Sean goes to a swimming club in Park Pool in Ormskirk. After a long day, it is time for Sean to go to bed, ready for the next day. <laughs> but Sean is not the only one. Angelman Syndrome affects 1 in 15,000 births worldwide and was originally called Happy Puppet Syndrome by the doctor who identified it, Dr Harry Angelman, in 1965 and was renamed Angelman Syndrome in 1982. We spoke to a genetics teacher at Runshaw College to get the facts about Angelman Syndrome. What is it that causes Angelman Syndrome to develop? Okay, Angelman Syndrome is a neurological disorder uh, caused by a uh, problem on chromosome 15, which is one of the chromosomes that is um, created during fertilisation. Um, it leads to the non-expression of a gene known as UBE3A, um, which means that neurons inside uh, a person with um, the condition don't work effectively, which means that they have uh, severe learning and physical impairments. What's the most common characteristics of common Angelman syndrome? There are lots of common characteristics of Angelman syndrome. The first one is sort of a very happy, um, outgoing, smiley, excitable character that can be quite often characterised by very flappy hands and um, being very excitable and happy and having a very happy expression all of the time. And there are also more physical ones, such as the ability not to be able to walk as well, uh, very jerky, stiff movements as well as another common one. And in about 80% of cases, it's common for um, patients to have seizures, um, to have problems sleeping um, and problems with speech as well. And in a lot of cases, they can't actually speak, but their non-verbal communication tends to be of higher standard than, say, a normal person would. Despite all the downsides to Angelman Syndrome, you will always catch someone with the condition smiling. <laughs>